Hi everyone, tonight I'm going to do the Samantha Jones look, aka Kim Cattrall Sex and the City look. I hope you enjoy it. Sorry I haven't been on for a couple of days, I've just been a little bit busy. First we're going to start with some Beijing shade stick. And we're just going to apply this all over our eyelid. At first it goes on a bit rough, as with all cream shadows I find. So I just move it back and forth, it's dead quick. And it really does help smooth and warm the mixture up a bit. To cover the entire lid, just past your crease. Same again on this side. You're going to just cover the whole lot going right up to your crease. And a little way past it. Like that. Then we're going to put a little bit of this on. Now I made this out of, trying to think, soft wash MAC pigment and Barry M's silver glitter, fine glitter dust. It's a mixture and I made this myself. I pressed it with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. So I don't know if you can see but it's quite nice. It's like a silver with like a little bit of a blue. We're going to use this colour today because this is what she has on one of the photos I've getting to do a full picture of. And she goes for quite um like Spanish looking makeup like um like nice neutral eyeshadow with a bit of liner and the big red lips. So we're gonna do something like that. So you're just gonna apply that pretty pressed pigment or any silver or any kind of like light whitey blue silver. Just with you're gonna just pack it on top of the beijing. It's a very, very, very simple look. And I reckon if you were quick enough you could get it down to seven minutes, we'll see how fast we'll go. It's really not long at all. See make it on this side. Make sure you pack it on. I'm really looking forward to the film coming out. I'm gonna go to the pictures, but I haven't got anybody to go with. Don't laugh. But I'd love to have someone to go with to watch it because nobody wants to watch it over here. Like in my house, I'm the only one that likes the programme because me mum and Helen are not really into it. So I haven't got anyone to go with. But I really want to go to the pictures and see it. So maybe I'll have to rub somebody into doing it. So you're just packing it on, so you've got a whole lot covered. Now you put my eye out there and you've got it right going just past the crease. Once you've done that, you're going to take any soft eyeliner and I'm just going to take this one for today. It's the Stila Convertible Eye Colour in Onyx. I use the black end. There's a smudge bit as well, which is good. And we're just going to take it and we're just going to gently brush it into the eyelash line. So you're not really coming above it because people with not much of an eyelid will find that you'll end up having all your hard work go to waste because once you put the eyeliner on it makes it look like you've got just black so you want it to go as close to your eyelash line as possible I know with me I haven't got that big of an eyelid so after I've done all this extravagant colour and all that or whatever and I go and put my black on you, as soon as you open your eye it looks like it's just black so I just tend to rub this in to my eyelash line So you've still got that black eyeline look, but it's not taking over your whole makeup look. And then we're going to wing it just a little way, like that. Then once we've done that, we're going to take the black again and we're just going to run it, just gently. Just, we're going to put a, just one quarter of the way in, quite thickly. And then with that we're going to smudge it in. So we're just going to see again on this side. Just going a quarter way in. Quite thickly meeting up with that little tick at the end. And then turn it around. There's the smudge end. And we're just going to smudge it in to the eye line itself. 
because you're doing it too hot. And it just really does blend it in. Because I find if I put black on the inside of my eye, I find that my eyes look rather owl, owlish. I feel like I look like a man, to be honest. So I tend to like bright in the middle, like in, in, the, in the inner corner, and then dark on the outside, but blend it in. It's just little tips I find that work better for my eye shape especially. Also, if you don't want something too harsh, another little tip I found. Oh, got black on my eye. Oh. Is that if you want your eyes not to look so harsh, when you're putting the black on the top, I tend to just start from about where your, your black, the pupil is, just going halfway out rather than the whole way. But Samantha's got hers the whole way. Got something in my eye. Okay, it's out. So Samantha's got hers going the whole way, so we're going to do the whole way today. But usually if I'm going out and I do my makeup, I like to go halfway across only and leave this bit again. Because like I said, anything dark on the middle of my eyes, I don't quite like. I, I really do think I look a bit owly, if that makes sense. I don't know. Looks good when I first put it on, but then if I go again, I think, oh, it looks awful. Um, I don't know, maybe it just settles funny on me, I don't know. But now that we've done my eyes, that's simple, it's just a couple of bits and pieces. Sorry about that. Then we're going to apply some Paula Dorf and it's Cheek Colour Cream and it is Cha Cha and I like this one. Cha Cha and Tempo are my favourite. There was another one, I think it's Playmate, that's the one. I like them ones, they're just nice. And all you do with this is you take your finger, if you were doing it on a client you would obviously use a little brush, like a cream blusher brush, but it's only me and I'm just going to show you. So just put on your finger and I've seen Bobby Brown use her fingers to do makeup. So that made us think, well, mmm. So if she can, I suppose, so could we. But it just depends on the client, what they're happy with. And also, if the client's got something wrong with her skin or, you know, maybe, I don't know, you know, facial infection or I don't know, something. Because people do come to you when they've got problems like that as well. And you might not want, you might not feel comfortable with touching them. It's all a hygiene thing to use brushes. But if you're just doing it on yourself, then it's usually okay to use your hand or your finger. So we've put the Paula Dove cheek colour cream on, just onto the apples of the cheeks. I'll see in the end photos, it'll show up a bit better for you. <clears throat> now we're going to take some gosh lip liner and it's pink peony, and this is the closest colour I have to this look that I want to create. So we're just going to line the lips. Now, if you like me and you've got a bit of a wibbly hand, just rest your little finger on your chin, on your chin, on your chin or your cheeks. And if you're working with a client again, you can get little um, dust pads with a little loop to stick your finger in. And it's best to touch the skin with that rather than your finger. So just have one of them to hand. It's also good to sweep any mess you've made on off. So some people don't like you touching the skin. So you would use a little dust pad. But if it's yourself, use your little finger. Same goes for eyeliner. If you don't have a steady hand, you can just stick your little finger there and, you know, it does help little bits and pieces. Now I'm trying to create really nice shaped lips here and it's hard on these little things, so anyway, I'm going to put some devilish orange to a MAC cream colour base and I'm using this with a little brush. I can't find one. There we go. A little brush that like the brush sets. Dip it in and apply just to give that nice deep ready orange and it'll mix with the pink we've applied and it is a Samantha Jones colour and I love it now I thought about doing a red but red's a bit harsh and she doesn't use red that much I think she usually goes for like a muted down version, so this will do for now. If you've got any like red, <coughs> ready pinks or like a muted down kind of red, not vibrant red, then that will do just as well. Now quickly for the mascara. 
Now, something I wanted to say. The winner of the fantasy makeup contest, um, it was Peppermint Panda and I spoke to her, I said congratulations. I put a little note up in my YouTube channel as well to let everybody know. And she's got the package got sent off today, so that's all done. She's over the moon. But I found out through her and other people that people were being a bit nasty, slagging the products off. Which is fine, I know they weren't great, but I never said they were going to be. And also, it kind of upset us because I thought, you know, I don't know why I bother. So I won't be running any more contests because it's obvious, you know, that some people wanted more than a bag of products. I don't know what they wanted. They might want a car or a house, you know, because, you know, a bit of makeup products wasn't good enough. So I kind of was offended at that because I didn't have to and it cost a fortune to send it, which is all coming out of my pocket. I don't make money on that. But a lot, there was a lot of people as well who'd done a really good job and were fantastic and over the moon about the prospect of winning the products. But there were just some that were a bit, a bit funny about it. So it's kind of put us off putting in that contest because I think, what is the point? Can it do, can it win? Can it please everybody? So, but for all those people who did participate, he's all done a fab job and I learnt loads off watching your videos. So I was dead happy about that. And the amount of video responses was brilliant. It's nice to know that everybody's chipping in, you know? So I just try and be happy about it. I'm going to use black mascara and I'm giving it a wiggle because there's no left anyway. So I'm just trying to get anything out. I'm just going to tip your head back and apply from root to tip give it a bit of a wiggle and I'm tipping my head back again like I keep saying because if you don't I tend to find that if I don't I end up catching the skin and by the time you've removed it with your q-tip or whatever you've done it just it doesn't look the same and you've slightly messed up your look And a little bit underneath. And there you have it. The Samantha Jones, Kim Cattrall, Sex in the City look and a complimentary little flower, a red flower because she wears red flower on her hair. Well, on the photo I've seen anyway. But I can't show you the photo because I could get done for copyright. Now I know a lot of people on here are using music clips, photos and they seem to get away with it but I bet you any money if I did it I'd get get off so I ain't taking the chance because I don't want to lose my channel so you'll have to just bear with us but the look that if the photo that I got I'm kind of close to it and I hope you enjoyed zoom zoom